Hi, my name's Clyde Claiborne, president and co-owner of Claiborne Contractors Incorporated here in Louisville, Kentucky. Today I'd like to show you how to lay out a common rafter. There's three things that we need to obtain to lay out a rafter. I need to know the slope, I need to know the width, and I need to know the amount of overhang. For today we're going to lay out a 6 and 12 rafter. The distance is going to be 5 feet. The distance of the overhang is going to be 6 inches. If you'll take the frame and square and hold in your left hand and hold it on a number 6. Hold the 12 on the top edge of the rafter. The rafter has been crowned. The crown is toward you. You put a small mark at the 12. You scribe all the way across your 2 by 6 for the ridge cut. We're going to take and come back and cut 3 quarters off this ridge in just a few minutes to allow for the ridge, the 2 by ridge. We're going to hold the frame and square on a 6 and 12 once again. We're just going to put a small mark on the 12 side. The third time we step down, we're going to hold it back on our 6 and back on our 12, but we're going to mark it on the 6 because the distance of the dormer is 5 feet. Half of the 5 feet is 2 foot 6. We're going to slide the frame and square down one more time and still holding it on our 6 and 12 and we're going to line up that 6 inch mark that we made. The rest of the rafters have an inch and a half bird's mouth. We want this one to have an inch and a half also. Then I'm going to slide the frame and square right back to the top edge of my pencil mark, which is an inch and a half deep, and I'm going to scribe a line across. This is typically called a bird's mouth. This is the top of the bird's mouth. This is the side of the bird's mouth, where it's going to touch the outside edge of the wood. I have to lay out the overhang. We go back to our 6 and 12. We slide it up to the edge, right where the bird's mouth was. We wanted a 6 inch overhang. We subtracted an inch and a half for our backup gutter board. Now I'm going to subtract three quarters of an inch for our fascia board. We are going to take and hold it back on our 6 and 12. We're going to scribe all the way across the wood. This is measure six inches. We know that we need to knock off three quarters to a half inch from the length of it. We're going to slide our frame and square back again. We're going to bob our tail of our rafter off. We've allowed for our overhang. I've allowed for my bird's mouth. Now we're going to come back up and cut three quarters of an inch from the ridge mark to allow for half of our ridge. So we take three quarters of an inch. We flat slide our frame and square back down again. And we scribe again on the six inch side. This is where we're going to cut. We're going to take and cut at our bird's mouth and we're going to cut for our overhang. This is how I lay out a rafter, whether it's a large building or a small one. Thank you for watching. This is from Claiborne Contractors and I'm Clyde Claiborne.